So, for those of you who haven't heard, uh, Jack Dorsey has quit Twitter. And because I am in a mop-like state after running 12 miles, which was shorter than I wanted it to be, but, like, um, you know, run running and then, like, spates of, um, like, walking to recover... Um, it was, it was shorter than I wanted it to be, but I still look like, I don't know, a fraggle. So I'm gonna, uh, make this video, uh, something about a trending topic, which is Jack quitting Twitter. Uh, Jack Dorsey being the founder, uh, and the CEO for the last bit. Uh, and honestly, somebody who didn't fucking listen to people that much. So... I, uh, <laughs> I, I, I want to read his, his fucking resin resignation email, right? And then I want to get into, uh, my, my sort of demands for the new guy. So this is, uh, going to be a completely worthless video because nobody is going to share it. And also they're not going to do what I say. But I might as well throw these darts. You know, it's it's content. I'm tired. And I need to do other work as well this evening. So here's my milling uh, at tilts wind. Uh, anyway, fucking he titled the email Fly. And he says, Hello team. After almost 16 years of having a role at our company, from co-founder to CEO to chair, to executive chair, to interim CEO to CEO, I decided it's finally time for me to leave. Why? There's a lot of talk about the importance of a company being founder-led. Ultimately, I believe that's severely limiting and a single point of failure. I've worked hard to ensure this company can break away from its founding and founders. There are three reasons I believe now is the right time. The first is Parag becoming our CEO. The board ran a rigorous process considering all options and unanimously appointed Prague. He's been my choice for some time, given how deeply he understands the company and its needs. Parag has been behind every critical decision that helped turn this company around. He's curious, probing, rational, creative, demanding, self-aware, and humble. He leads with heart and soul and is someone I learn from daily. My trust in him as our CEO is bone deep. I just want to say this email is fucking creepy and also, um, turn around what i mean maybe in terms of profits right uh like later on but in terms of usability and like feature richness for the end user fuck no it hasn't um there have been many things that people have been demanding for a significant period of time that have not been being addressed um you know I've got a list of 10 of them, and I'm sure people will add more. Feel free to use the comments and reply to me on Tweltwer at Jeremiah EXE um, and a variety of other places I'm on. Feel free to throw some comments at it. Uh, but basically, uh, no, it's not turned around. It's, in fact, like less operable than ever. I can't tell you how many times I've had to like wait for the app to crash on my phone so that I can tell Twitter to close with the Twitter is not responding dialogue so that it clears whatever bullshit was there. Um, only so that I can repeat the process literally every other time I open the app. Like, fuck that. You're not turning it around. You're making it worse by adding yet more features to an already shit-ass app. And I'm not the only one who's had these issues. So I just wanted to get that out of the way. Um, because no, it's not turned around. And in fact, it still has yet more issues than ever because you keep on adding more features before correcting the errors that were on the previous releases, which means 
you constantly have people saying trending did Twitter um, and, and a bunch of other shit like that because your app sucks. And because you refuse to solve the problems associated with the fact that your app sucks. So, no, you didn't turn it around. You may you might be making money, you know, but you didn't turn it around. Um, let's get back to this. Uh -huh. The second is Brett Taylor agreeing to become our board chair. I asked Brett to join our board when I became CEO, and he's been excellent in every way. He understands entrepreneurship, taking risks, companies at massive scale, technology, product, and he's an engineer. All the things this board and company deserve right now. Having Brett in the leadership role gives me a lot of confidence in the strength of our board going forward. You have no idea how happy this makes me. He's like trying to sell you on the concept of the new people, like like Jack is breaking up with you. Like, yeah, I'm sure these people will be great for you, you know? You you deserve better. Fucking The third is all of you. Patronizing bullshit. We have a lot of ambition and potential on this team. Consider this. Parag started here as an engineer who cared deeply about our work. And now he's our CEO. I also had a similar path. He did it better. This alone makes me proud. I know that Parag will be able to channel this energy best because he's lived it and knows what it takes. All of you... That being the staff he addressed this email to. <laughs> he's like airing out all this stuff publicly. All of you have the potential to change the course of this company for the better. I believe this with all my heart. Parag is CEO starting today. I'm going to serve on the board through my term, May-ish, to help Parag and Brett with the transition. And after that, I'll leave the board. Why not stay or become chair? I believe it's really important to give Parag the space he needs to lead. Hey, that's great. You're giving him space to lead. He didn't have space to lead before, and now he has space. He didn't... You you, you, you are definitely the distributor of space here, Jack. Um, hopefully he has enough space to lead that he can actually do the things people have been asking for. But probably not, because it's not about space to lead. It's about being good uh, for the end user, and Twitter doesn't care about that. They only care about their fucking stock options, which is why you said you turned the company around when you made it fucking worse. Um, anyway. And back to my previous point. I believe it's critical a company can stand on its own, free of its founder's influence or direction. I want you all to know that this was my decision, and I own it. It was a tough one for me, of course. I love this service and company. And all of you, so much. I'm really sad, yet really happy. There aren't many companies that get to this level. And there aren't many founders that choose their company over their own ego. I know we'll prove this was the right move. We'll have an all-hands meeting tomorrow at 9.05 a.m. Pacific to discuss it all. Until then, thank you for the trust you've placed in me. Not me. I ain't placed goddamn shit in you, but I guess your employees have to say they trust you or they lose their job, right? No, we, 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 we definitely don't distrust you. Nobody here distrusts you. We don't distrust you. We promise. Like, imagine saying you don't trust your boss. How's that gonna get you? Like, don't fucking... Anyway. <laughs> uh... And for the openness to build that trust in Parag and yourselves. I love you all. P.S. I'm tweeting this email. My one wish is for Twitter Incorporated to be the most transparent company in the world. Hi, Mom. So, just to be clear, he wants transparency, right? Well, here's my list of things that I want you to change. Partner transparent partner maybe stop shadow banning reply deboosting and search ghosting people 
Let people see the content they want to see. Huh? Maybe that could be a start. Maybe people shouldn't have to go to fucking shadowban.eu to see whether or not their content is visible to the people who clicked fucking follow. You know, that might be a thing that you, that you could do. Or like, you know, uh, stop, you know, censoring the search in general. I didn't even write that down, but I should have. Like, I can't find anybody's given tweets about COVID. And why? Because you censored that subject. Because you literally block people from being able to see that subject in fucking searches. You think that helps prevent medical disinformation? No! It just means that fucking people with only people who are mentioned can reply, um, can isolate medical disinformation to their, uh, like, their, 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 their fucking circle jerk, you know? And, and then, like, oh, that, that, tweet, that tweet gets quote tweeted, right? Because people can't reply, so they might as well quote tweet. That doesn't help anyone. None of this helps anyone. Like all your features here, they're, they're, they're ass that you've been adding lately. They're ass. They're garbage. Like especially the hide tweet feature. Like hide reply. Yeah, that's not asking for censorship. That's not a way to prevent accountability or stop people from holding people accountable for real disinformation. Huh? No, that's just a way to stop bullying. Right, I believe you. I believe you. I believe all of you. I trust you, Jack. Um, but like, yeah, just let people see what they fucking wanted to see in the first place by hitting follow. Stop, ma like, making people invisible under the guise of making a safer and better platform. It's bullshit. Fuck you. Um... Stop unfollowing people from people's accounts. It's a similar problem. I have been told literally thousands of times that people have been unfollowed from my account. And, like, not just mine, right? Thousands more that they've been unfollowed from other people's accounts. This issue isn't new, and it's fucking widespread. And it happens all the fucking time. Because instead of actually letting people see the conversations, instead of letting people shape their own circles, you want to have control over that. Isn't that fun? Um, you know, and, and like, on a similar note to that, to unfollowing people from people's accounts, um, like, it's hilarious to me that uh, that, that people have to like wait a bit uh before following a significant amount of people or th their account is locked yeah that's that's a real easy way to prevent spam right now instead of fucking like following a bunch of people at once people who really want to spam have to put in fucking credential theft links so that they can get more accounts so that they can do this more or they just have to create enough spam accounts that it can fucking pepper somebody's bullshit with trash. You're fucking helping. Awesome. Good job. Um. Stop adding dumb new features like spaces when your app still crashes on Android. And I think even iOS. I've heard reports that like on uh, models older than fucking five or six years, your app crashes on iPhone. The app you fucking jack off about all the time. Um, and yes, I am using that term very, very pun intended. Um, like, until you're willing to fix all the problems that Twitter regularly trends, shut the fuck up about turning the company around and actually knuckle under and do something, right? Until... You're willing to solve the current issues with the current builds. Don't make new things that your new builds will have new issues with. Like, this is Software Dev 101, bitches. Why are you this bad at it? Oh, right. Because it doesn't matter to you and you thrive on the controversy when people trend the word Twitter. Hey, 
yeah, everybody's talking about Twitter again because their app fucking sucks, but at least our stock options are turned around. Fucking losers. Stop releasing features only on iOS and then claiming they're released for everyone. I found, like, that trend, that pattern, with a lot of features that you claimed were released for everyone because it's available everywhere in the world now. So what? If it's not available on everybody's phone, and most people don't have iOS because that's the fucking truth, most people are on Androids, then it's not for everyone. It's just for people on iOS. Not even web. You can't even log in on a web browser and access tips. Like, that's hilarious. That's fucking stupid. Eat shit. Um, so... Like, that's just one of many examples that I could bring up. Uh, it's hilarious to me that this is still a problem uh, after years and years of releasing new features that were available for everyone, but suddenly only available for iOS. Fuck you. Everyone isn't just you and your tech bubble that can afford iPhones, you piece of shit. Whoever you are that decided to write that copy. Um... <laughs> stop charging for blue and just give people those features. This is straightforward. Like, if you're going to release new good features, just release them. Don't release them on a subscription model. And this just makes it worse when they fuck up. Because guess what? Now people who paid for it get ripped off. Now people who actively put money into it get ripped off. Not just the people with promoted tweets that, like, get lost when uh, Twitter fucks up, not just people who put their time and energy into it uh, so that their accounts can be invisible. You know, people who actively pay for this shit can then get also shit products because your service was awesome. So let's fucking, uh, like, ask people to pay more money? What? Um... This is straightforward here, and, and this is going to resonate with everybody who's had a Twitter for any length of time. Give us a fucking edit button. Why is it that Facebook has it? Why is it that so many of these alternate platforms have it? Even ones on the fucking blockchain have figured it out. And Twitter says, uh, that would damage conversation. No, it wouldn't. You would just have to check the edit history. Sort of like you have to check the fucking hidden tweets button in order to see some snowflakes replies or in order to see some business being held accountable for their bad decisions because guess what? That happens too. Businesses use that feature uh, to hide people's criticism of their bad fucking choices. You're, you're really helping prevent disinformation by letting people hide information in their threads. Not at all like that could be used to create echo chambers of disinformation, no. You're perfect. You're awesome. I love you too, Jack. Um, <laughs> longer video uploads for all, not just the select few who use your dumb business tools. This is straightforward too. Why is it that your long video uploading tool is hidden behind all those walls and like requires additional fucking work? Why can people not just upload long videos? Every other platform has longer videos, even ones on the blockchain. It wouldn't damage Twitter's fucking servers that much. And you know what? It might even be better for them because people wouldn't have to constantly post short fucking videos that have to load and cause additional bandwidth consumption. It'd be the same video instead of lots of little ones, you know? Less data intensive. But hey, that's just a theory. A fuck you theory. Fucking people. Uh, <laughs> make it easier to manage newsletter subs. Uh, I, I, I wrote in my notes that I'm going to bring up these scam letters. Um, I am an anti-pedophile person. I, I run activism uh, in many circles, Sa same with zoophilia, same with all these other paraphilias that could, like, damage people if acted upon, um, you know, uh, it, like, there are so many of these people who have used these features 
to sign people up for their scam fucking emails by saying, oh, this, yeah, this person's on, on, on the sex offender registry or something. And then they, the person clicks subscribe because they think this is just a normal banner and they didn't read newsletter or they don't know what the newsletter feature is. And suddenly that fucking person has their email address. And and that per that person has their fucking uh um like permanent subscription sometimes because it's super hard to unsubscribe. Just give us better access to those features. I don't know why there isn't an unsubscribe button in the same place as the subscribe button, like a fucking toggle. Like that's what the follow button is. It's an unsubscribe and subscribe button to the feeds on Twitter. Just give it that for the fucking subscriptions. It's not that hard. And, um, just to be super fucking clear, um, because of people who are misusing this feature, you should have it to where the email is erased from their fucking lists, uh, if, if somebody unsubscribes. That way, there's a possibility that they can catch it in time if they find out they've been scammed, and the person won't have access to the email that logs into their Twitter! How is that not psychotically dumb? Or maybe it's intentional. Maybe you just want more accounts off your service. So you just don't care how many of them get sp spammed and scammed and rammed and slammed. Like, let's fucking not gild the lily here. That's fucking bad. It's really fucking bad that the default email associated with your Twitter is what's associated with your subscription, and you can't immediately unsubscribe and remove that email from their database. Huh? Isn't that fucking bad? Nah, you know, they're fine. They're transparent or something. Um, <laughs> on a similar note, ban the pedophiles, the zoophiles, you know, the people making this place worse for children... Uh, and the vulnerable and shit like that, rape survivors in general, you know, maybe don't allow people here who have a manifest and expressed interest in fucking children. Huh? Can you do that? No. Okay. Shit. Sorry. I forgot you loved us so much that you won't do something like that. That's why my petition has been up for two fucking years and still no action on it because y'all don't give a fuck about those people. Anybody, really. You just care about your stock options. That's how you know you're turning it around. And by the fucking way, while you're not banning pedophiles, zoophiles, etc., you are banning a host of other people, guess what? For extremist content and misinformation and all that sort of thing. Which just makes me think that you only want to ban a certain stock of people and that maybe it's not about protecting anyone or keeping the discourse safe. It's about your fucking stock options! Because that's exactly what it is. You can't have people like Trump on there. You can't have people like the Free Thought Project or Cop Block on there. You can't have, like, all these people who actually care about reason and facts and ethics. You have to act as part of the walled garden for the new information economy, for your mega corporate fascist fucking allies. That's what you have to do, right? So that's why you have to ban people like the Free Thought Project, like the anti-media, like James... Well, like, your, your repeated censoring of James Corbett before he fucking just left. Like, your, your, your choice of who to remove from your platform is transparently fucking evil because of the people you leave, because of the th things you allow. Why is Chrissy Teigen still on Twitter when a bunch of other people got banned for much less, you know? She makes pedophile jokes way too much, doesn't she? You know, and there are so many people like her, right? There are so many people who just do whatever the fuck they want, right? It doesn't matter that they created the circumstances by which uh, Trump rose to uh, prominence. It doesn't matter that those people are the reason that the base is emboldened, that you tried to remove from Twitter. Uh, it doesn't matter that you lied about who you removed from Twitter um, because it wasn't a Q purge. It was just whoever you felt like under the guise of a Q purge. None of that matters. What matters is your fucking stock options. So you had to make yourself look good by removing the evil man. Guess what? 
Biden may not be doing terrible things on Twitter, but he's doing everything much worse than Trump because he's doing the same things that Trump is doing, but with approval from people like you. Hmm? Um, he's not better than Trump. He's actually worse than Trump. There are more kids in cages than ever. He reinstated the don't come here policy. Uh, we're not getting Medicare for all. Uh, we're not getting uh, $2,000 checks. There are so many fucking lies he tells, like, regularly. There are so many fucking manifestly terrible things he does regularly. And the fact that he doesn't do them on Twitter doesn't mean he's not bad for anyone else. So maybe instead of acting like you're creating a safe platform where you love everyone and everybody's all awesome and hunky-dory and hippie-like, maybe admit that you created a fucked up place and fix it before Mayich! That's what I have to say to you, Jack, and whoever else is involved in this Twitter scam of transfer of power, because it's going to be more of the same shit as it always has been. <laughs> this has been your latest unhinged rant by me. Um, smash the fucking... St